You're watching Fox 10 AZAM. A big donation today for kids at East Valley Schools. Tons and tons of sweatshirts and needed items. We're going to tell you all about it coming up. That is so cute. Anita, she is at a really great fundraiser this morning. Folks are stuffing the bus with everyday items that underprivileged kids need, especially as we get into the cooler temps. Right, you know, sweaters and sweatshirts and the whole deal. Hello, Anita. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So you saw in the tees, I was buried in tons and tons of uh, hoodies and socks and t-shirts. And you see that the American Assistance League here has made a beautiful assembly line uh, along with some Chandler firefighters and they're passing them down and they are literally packing a school bus this morning. All of the donated items will be sent over to children in the East Valley. As we mentioned, hundreds and hundreds of kids who really need need these items who just simple everyday items uh, can't always afford them and so this is one of the well really the, the gentleman behind the donation for those who don't know you introduce yourself well my name is Michael Pollack and I'm thrilled and I'm honored to be a part of this incredible event today and in order to see it all come to fruition after months and months and months of preparation and work um, it's like um, all of a sudden this uh, thing is being born right and, and so so you're known around the valley. Obviously, people have probably seen your name on real estate signs. And so you, you're definitely a huge developer here in town, but doing good as well. So number one this morning, we have the opening of the Assistance League East Valley Thrift Store, which is very exciting because it gives people a place to shop affordably. It does indeed. And most important, this organization does so much for so many. I mean, they dress around 7,500 kids last wow. year. And, you know, that's just so many and the greatest part about this organization they are all volunteers um, and you know when people are willing to put that kind of time in yeah. and volunteer their time it just makes it that much more special I think and so you donated literally a van load of essentials everyday needs for all the kids and what they're doing is packing the bus this morning and so let me introduce you to this beautiful lady we're gonna walk this way with Brian tell us your name my name is Susan Harrison Susan tell us a little bit about this pack the bus as well as the thrift store. Well, uh, let me start with stuff the bus. We are stuffing it for our, our uniform schools. We have 16 uniform schools and we provide clothes for them for a week of uniforms. We do that through our volunteer efforts and fundraising at our thrift store, which makes our thrift store so very special. This is something special, especially extra, because the things that we can't afford in that uh, are the sweatshirts. And right now is when the kids enjoy it the most. And it's like the treat of all treats. The kids are playing now will be recipients of that. Uh, there's one of our uniform oh, schools and they will it. be recipients of some of them and they'll be taking a bin home. So we have a beautiful donation here by Michael. Do you still need people to come out throughout the day to help oh, you pack that I box? hope that you would because okay. Michael sent it and I would tell you that there's many other people that have already stopped by and donated. Our goal is to reach 500 sweatshirts and I honestly think that it won't be difficult to do it. And so these are sweatshirts that the kids can wear to and school we, over their their uniforms. Right. So we know they have to wear the uniforms a, a very specific right. outfit but they can wear this over the uniform maybe even on weekends. Oh, they'll, I'm sure they'll wear it on weekends. I do want to point out that we have a strong partnership with the Chandler Fire Department. Mm -hmm. They helped us move. They came here on two moving days and literally moved us into the shop. And they came with bells on. They're here helping us. They don't want to leave. They want to be a part of us. They're fantastic. They and so wonderful. tell me a little bit about the the shop then, the thrift shop. Oh, this, uh, you, this is a grand opening for you guys. This is, this is really huge. Well, you know, we've been at the other thrift shop for 14 years, and it was on Arizona Avenue. And it wasn't if we, we've been successful mildly so but but and we have a loyal group of supporters we get donations from it literally 20 zip codes but we moved here our and our impact and our income has grown okay. as prices increase we can't keep up with serving the community this is allowing us to keep up and maybe even go a little bit farther so the sales that you mentioned earlier the sales from thrift shop thrift shop items again will benefit the kids they do and we have other programs as well but this is our main one it's called operation school bell and every assistance league in the United States has to have a, 
Operation School Bell program, and we're really proud that we serve more kids than most, just wow. with our efforts, with our 140 members. And so we are where today? We are at 2326 North Alma School Road, just north of Warner Road, the best thrift shop in the United States, come see. And the bus will be here how long? The bus will be here until about 4 o'clock tonight. Oh, you have all day. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Great work out here. You can see the volunteers are happy to be here. Sweatshirts, sweatshirts, and sweatshirts, hoodies, that's what they need today. Wonderful. I cannot believe all the volunteers. That's so great. It is. Bucket Brigade. Yep. In a good way. Nothing keeps you warm like a good hoodie. Yeah. Gotta have Thank one. Thank you, Anita. Because it seems like, this, especially like the zip up hoodie, it can be as warm or like as cool as you want it to. If you yeah. want it cooler, no hood. There you go. Zip down. Yeah. Right? If you want to keep in the heat, right? You put the hood on, you tie it up real tight, oh, yeah. and zip it up. And <laughs> you're all set. Oh, the, the wonderful hoodie. <gasps> oh, good work they're doing out there.